thank you for uh, organizers to giving this opportunity to uh, talk about this work. And also I thank my PhD advisor, uh, NS Vidadi Raja, uh, professor at uh, JNCSR Theoretical Science Unit. So I'm going to discuss about this condo effect in uh, a non-emission PT symmetric uh, Anderson model, which has a rush bus spin orbit coupling only in the bath. So this work is under review. Uh, so uh, uh, so brief motivation to this work is, so we were uh, impressed by these three works. So, uh, so, so there was this uh, uh, recent, around 2018, there was a PRB doing a, a conformal field theory. Uh, th there was this uh, left bath and right bath in 1D system. So there is a coupling between the impurity and the bath is, uh, is a Hermitian, and there is this is the T prime, which is a coupling. So uh, within the bath, there is a T is a hopping uh, integral, and we have this uh, omega i raised to i phi and omega i raised to minus i phi for the left and right uh, 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 baths. So this this is this uh, symmetry is established from this uh, SU two generators because SU two is preserved in this case uh, until we break the PT symmetry. And there was one more work uh, which is uh, uh, by Sandler et al. Um, in around 2012, it's in PRL. So uh, it, it's a, it, it is a Perman scaling approach. So they have done a, a super wolf transformation on the uh, single impurity Anderson model and get this uh, low energy effective model, which is a condo model. And there is some emergent interaction called uh, dilution schemoria interaction. So due to that term, so we get uh, uh, this uh, decoupled condo model. So uh, they showed that with this bare coupling, increasing the strength of bare coupling, the condo uh, scale will also uh, increase. That means we need a more thermal energy to break the condo many body singlet. Uh, so at that time, it was a very non-trivial result. If you see the, uh, the spin orbit uh, coupling term, which is which actually introduces the fluctuation term, which, uh, which is, uh, uh, there was a debate like there's a quantum decoherence in the problem and uh, so, it will uh, uh, kill the condo effect and so on. Uh, but uh, this is for the flat band density of state. And uh, so later they also uh, have a more uh, elaborated paper uh, doing uh, uh, a numerical enumeration group. So, uh, so there is one more paper without uh, symmetry. There is no any symmetry of the model. We just analytically uh, continue the condo regular uh, usual condo model. We have a, a complex uh, uh, interaction strength for the J. Uh, and then, uh, so this Kawakami, Norio Kawakami at all, they showed that uh, doing the Foreman scaling, scaling at the third order J, two loop uh, RG, uh, showed that this anomalous uh, reversion of the RG, which is uh, specific to such kind of system. And there is a, a divergence of this uh, ferromagnetic coupling, which is uh, not present in the conventional uh, uh, condo problem because it is irrelevant in the usual condo problem and it uh, uh, renormalizes to zero, whereas the antiferromagnetic coupling diverges. And also there is this uh, unique uh, fixed point uh, specific, specific to this model. And they also done this uh, uh, Bethian-Sars calculations and they showed that uh, with asymptotically N, uh, the, that is the large N case, so we can see the imaginary weight of the spin rapidities uh, drastically decreases. And eventually it becomes that uh, in the large N case, this, this uh, non-emission strength is uh, basically irrelevant. Uh, uh, but uh, so, uh, so since it's a many body effect in the cartoon picture, we can think of it as there was a, um, uh, so nobody's, it's a many body problem. Nobody is serious except this person. So there we have a two bath, uh, which is uh, uh, interacting with this guy in a non-trivial way. And uh, so there is the, after putting the spin orbit coupling, there is this Rashpa splitting. And we have uh, uh, whether this man will still survive is the question. So we are after this question, whether, uh, uh, what is the fate of the condo effect? Will there be still uh, many body singlet formation in this such type of interaction with the interplay between the non-hermeticity spin orbit coupling and the interaction? So, 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 so this work is basically uh, when we do a slave boson, uh, so this will help us uh, the large n become why the large n uh, of the slave boson is not renormalizing the uh, uh, non-emission strength. So uh, model and formalism, it's a, it's a standard uh, 
single impurity Anderson model, we have a kinetic energy of bath and the impurity energy and the impurity only impurity has an interaction. And there is a habitation between the dot and uh, uh, bath. And uh, as I was saying, there are these uh, two types of uh, uh, spin orbit couplings, which is one is uh, K cross sigma and K dot sigma. Within this SU2 spinner, we can construct this uh, CK up and CK down, uh, this, uh, uh, this rash bar term, which actually breaks the parity. We can check uh, the parity is violated. It doesn't commute to the parity, but uh, we can see it's, 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 it's only break, uh, breaks the parity symmetry in the bath, not uh, in the dot. Uh, so in order to build this PT symmetry, we intentionally did this uh, angular momentum expansion. Uh, which can be done in 1D and 2D. It is used by Meleki and various other people in their work. Uh, after introducing this, so it will generate uh, another uh, 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 angular momentum uh, quantum number. And uh, then uh, we can, so we can see this is a off diagonal term. By doing an unitary transformation, we can absorb this and uh, effectively we can replace, uh, find the inverse uh, transformation for unitary transformation and express this. Uh, bath operators in terms of new chiral index, which is the new emergent quantum number, and that uh, becomes a, a new uh, 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 Anderson model, which has uh, two chirality. Uh, so we use this uh, uh, quantum master equation to develop uh, this uh, non-Hamitian Hamiltonian, so which I am not presenting here, so which is in our uh, manuscript. Uh, so, so after doing all that, so we get H tilde, which consists of uh, uh, imaginary term, which is I L dagger L. So where L consists of all single particle excitations with unknown coefficient and those unknown coefficients are fixed by calculating the commutators between the total number operator. Because in non emission case, this number operator uh, fluctuates whenever the PT symmetry is preserved regime, constructing using the SU2 generators, we can find the Lindblad in which respects that symmetry. And adding uh, with this H, I by two times that uh, L dagger L term will give us the new H tilde. And once we find this new H tilde, and this can be uh, written in some uh, not in conventional basis. So we need to find some metric operator which satisfies this pseudo hermeticity. And once we find this uh, uh, metric operator, we are sure that it will give us the uh, real eigenvalues in some regime. So that's what we are doing here. So at u equal to zero in conventional basis, we can write this uh, Hamiltonian where this all the colored region corresponds to the elements present. And uh, once we uh, do this metric operator and we have this uh, kind of nearly black diagonal kind of structure, but uh, uh, so, so this, uh, this becomes uh, easier in doing a Fox space diagonalization for u not equal to zero. But of course, uh, Fox space is done for a finite number of sites. Uh, so here we can see the uh, idea about, uh, I mean, we can get the uh, exceptional points at u equal to zero and how they are renormed, how this uh, uh, SOC is playing a role in uh, uh, changing these exceptional points. So this, uh, so exceptional degeneracy and so on. And when we have a completely real uh, eigenvalue regime and partially and uh, uh, fully imaginary eigenvalue regime and so on. Uh, so then uh, we did uh, this slow boson calculation. So now uh, respecting the pseudo hermeticity, we get this two channel uh, bosons and fermions for the impurity. And uh, these impurity operators can be replaced by this uh, new bosons and uh, fermions. And this constraint will be modified accordingly. And because the total occupancy, we keep it uh, uh, one so that uh, both uh, boson number and fermion number has to be uh, some of the fermion and boson number should be one. And then now it is quadratic and we can uh, use the, any of the Grassmann action formalism or any of those, uh, get the saddle point solution or the total energy can be minimized uh, by calculating the Green's function of this model. Uh, and A, where A and B are these uh, functions of Green's functions, which is not shown here. And we, have, we, have, we need to evaluate this uh, self-consistently to find these new uh, unknowns, uh, ed tilde, R square boson weight and uh, eta. So, uh, so here uh, we have only looked for the real theta values. As we can see, the slave boson will not renormalize and uh, for imaginary theta it renormalizes, but uh, it's hard to find a self-consistent solution in this case. But uh, we plan to do that in future work uh, by doing uh, 
sophisticated RGE methods. Uh, so, uh, so using this Fox space diagonalization, like I ex uh, explained here. So uh, for u equal to zero and at finite u for three sides, so we did Fox space. Okay, sure. And uh, uh, then uh, we, uh, so, so, so we can uh, conclude the results. At three side, uh, we had seen this. Uh, uh, so along this line, we have, we again coincide with the non-interacting exceptional points, though uh, the uh, lambda and u are present, uh, it's lambda equal to u by two along this line that local moment uh, survives. And uh, this colored region, there is a partial screening. And uh, at uh, a large interaction, uh, then whatever the non hermitian strength, it does not matter. We will not enter into the uh, imaginary eigenvalues at the dot. So, and then uh, we did uh, non-interacting finite D full, this can be done analytically. And uh, we can show that uh, uh, that shaded region corresponds to the uh, imaginary eigenvalue regime. And this is, uh, 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 so this is, uh, uh, we, we showed that uh, there is a protocol which we can find out this exceptional surface, uh, either total energy crossing zero or that uh, some rule violation in the Green's function. And we can see that there is a, uh, this, and this moves the right side if you do uh, uh, in the lambda and uh, phi plane. So the lambda affects, renormalizes the non emission strength in the, whereas in the slave boson case, so these uh, red and uh, blue dots, this corresponds to the scale, condo scale vanishing line. But if you cut the pi by four, pi equal to pi by four, which is 0.25 around this vertical line. After that, uh, it's a completely imaginary eigenvalue regime between this vertical line and uh, uh, this line, there is this shaded region. And uh, uh, so, yeah, so in that cartoon picture, like uh, this man will survive along this line and that man will be dead uh, 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 in this uh, uh, region where the uh, local moment will not survive because it's many body simulator is formed. It will be completely screened and he will be partially screened here, maybe in coma. Thank you. Uh, questions? So this partially screened uh, part, Yes. It appears as a new fixed point in your system. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, how should I think about uh, the magnetic response of the partially screen part and also the transport of that metal? Uh, so, in this work, we haven't explored that. Uh, so, we're doing it in future work. Actually, we had the same question. So, uh, if we have a completely uh, local movement regime, then we have an impurity magnetization should saturate at uh, half uh, uh, or the MZ. So if we see any, uh, this should be seen in any dynamical susceptibility or something. So we are, uh, or in the spin spin uh, Green's functions. Uh, after doing an RG, we can uh, maybe confirm that whether actually there is a fixed point. But preliminary results, there are three fixed point uh, unique to this model. Minimizing the energy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. But I think in the case, like thermodynamic energy, long time steady states. So. Yes, sir. So, but uh, when yes, so for general non emission case, there we cannot look the minimas, but in the symmetry preserved regime, uh, we can still because it's uh, under the pseudo hermeticity class, we can still minimize at that uh, until we. So, in this work, we haven't looked into because also we don't know what is the meaning of imaginary eigenvalues after breaking PT symmetry. So in this work, we the question is at the symmetry preserved regime, whether Kondo uh, survives or not, whether can we still form the many body simulator or not. So, but uh, the scale vanishing point uh, shows that there is uh, within this line, within this region, shaded region, there is a Kondo effect. But between, between this vertical line, which is a non-interacting point and between this line, there is a local moment. But beyond that, we are not sure because whether that is physical state or not. Okay, um, 
Are there further questions? Uh, I can quickly ask one. So sure. is there something about a uh, uh, Linvadium uh, towards the beginning of your talk? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I didn't mention that. Yes, sir. So uh, why do like, you actually get a Linvadium here? Because this path clearly is not Markovian, right? If I um, so actually, so uh, so developing these uh, non-Hamitian Hamiltonians, uh, like if we do a conventional formalism, the, there is no way we get this uh, imaginary terms. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we can do is we can start with this uh, Hamiltonian and uh, derive that um, um, uh, the effective effective Hamiltonian, which is like H naught plus I L dagger L, but the but that will have a Leo Villian. Uh, it does not so, have the recycling term. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the recycling term and the, the other term, which combines when we add the I dagger, I L dagger L term, both of them get cancelled in such a way we have a unitary dynamics. That is in the only symmetry preserved regime. Mm -hmm. But when we uh, break the symmetry, that is not true. Again, the re uh, recycling term will diverge there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because the number is no more uh, conserved there, it fluctuates. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, thank the speaker.